episode, we beat not one, not two, but three bosses. Yeah, we get a break for Mission 7. A very much needed break. We get to go to an oil field! Yay! After first going through a factory. Industrial levels are so fun, aren't they? That was the cutscene. Rather pointless, personally, but... So... We had handed these guys right off the bat. We don't have to actually kill all of them. But we get some, we get some orbs, so... Kill a few of them. They're so hard to do in this game. Aha! Ooh, shotgun on the backside. Come here, you little bastard. The shotgun when you're when you jump in the air, the shotgun will gives you a little bit more airtime. But instead of what the pistols do and kind of slow your descent, <laughs> the shotguns just kind of push you back up a little. Oh, that's enough. We have 19,000 souls. This level isn't that hard, so it's pretty easy to get a good score on here. Oh, Miss Fire. Crap. Oh, well. This level's fun. Ooh. Yeah, the Puyas are notorious when it comes to getting ya off screen. Especially in this level. But if I come over here, we get a <laughs> DMC staple, the gold orb. Basically, if we die, it's a continue. Like I think I did in the last episode. Don't remember. But I hate dealing with them, so we move on. Now if we attack this thing. <laughs> Hey. Another uh, heart piece. For our amulet. Oh, yes, and these spicers. I think that's what they're called. Weird name for them. I go for something like Splicer, but no, it's Spicer. What do they do? Add like oregano or something? <laughs> Aggressively add oregano. That needs to be an enemy for DMC5. Aggressively adding oregano. <laughs> because who uses oregano really? <laughs> yeah. You can trigger them remotely like uh <laughs> The Wraths in DMC 3. Now the ones that have the big sacks that they carry that blow up. Let's see. Alright. Yeah. Refill my double trigger. Oh. Equip Aerial Heart. And fly! And I think.
think we get one of the elemental pieces for the end. Don't remember. We get... Yes, the flame heart. The flame heart basically, instead of... It's one of the elemental uh, gems for the amulet, and it'll change the elemental attacks that Dante does when he's in Devil Troop. We default with the Electro Heart at the start of the game, but there's the Fire Heart, which we just got, and later on, I don't know where it is, so I probably won't find it, but there's also the Ice Heart. But if we come in here, we get Vendetta. Vendetta is more powerful, but slower. But it's not nearly slow enough to make it useless. Actually, it's barely slower. So, yeah, we're going to basically be using Vendetta for the rest of the game. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The majors of DMC2 have a- there's a lot of what were they thinking moments in this game. Either in regards to... Uh, some of the level designs, some of the boss enemies... And even some of the weapons. There's four swords you can get, three of them you can acqu you acquire- well... No, three of them you have to find. The one you default to is Rebellion, and there's two you can find in-game. Re Vendetta is the first, and then there's also... Oh, I can't remember the name. I think it's called Vengeance? Something along those lines. But basically, uh, the second sword, which you won't, you won't find until later, is slow, is much, much faster, longer reaching, but is much weaker than Rebellion. To the point where it's not worth using. I mean, if. I mean, Vendetta, the strongest sword, is a overall improvement with. power, even with the minor reduction in attack speed. It makes the faster but weaker sword superfluous. I think I said that right. So yeah, they really should have thought about that before <laughs> releasing the game. I think there's something in the corner. Nope. Okay, time to get on the tram. I love the... The, the stall that's on the top above the doors there. It's like... Not something you'd see in a tram, usually. At least not one that isn't western themed. Yep, this basically is a defeat all the enemies. Kind of thing. I don't think it's timed, and it's not. The tram doesn't stop just when you defeat all the enemies. They just there's a set number of them that appear. If you defeat them all in time, you defeat them all in time. I usually do. Hell, when I first played this game, I did. I didn't realize you could get Vendetta on this mission. You can in the next one. You have to. You can. You won right by it in the next mission. But I didn't realize you could get it a mission early. So I I was using Rebellion for this level, and yeah. The time they give you for this is just too much. I mean, see, it's still on... It just went to the last 
Arrow. And look at all this downtime. <laughs> Dante doing laps. So... Uh, now we stop. But yeah, that's way too much downtime for this game to have, especially right after that. I mean, it'd be one thing if it was us moving at our own pace, like through a hallway or something, but having to forcefully wait that a um, couple of minutes for that thing to, like, catch up is just bullshit. And we get more of these flying things. Oh, that's the first time they've ever hurt me. Bam! Oh well. <laughs> First time for everything. And coming through this door. Going through that door. Damn it, Dante, go to the door. Interacting with the door leads us to another secret area. There's a pattern to these secret rooms. In every even numbered mission, every even numbered secret room is. or will give us upon completion a. blue orb fragment. We also get a red, green, and white orb, too. Voila! And we're done there, so... We move on! And we end the mission, everyone! Talk about a short one. Ooh, devil under B rank. Yay! Oh. Next mission. Mission 8 is, if I recall, just a go in reverse. Basically, go the back. Go back from whence we came, sort of mission. Let's see. No, oh, three. That's thirty thousand. Yeah. No, can't do anything with the guns. Items. I'll buy a blue orb, and that'll do it. What have we here? You have to ask? Hmm. Maybe another time. Fire demon boss thing. Oh, first. Change the ABL out for the electro heart because the fire heart will is not the best choice. Jump 
jumped into that one. Unfortunately, this is a kind of another... <laughs> Main the gun sort of boss fight. <laughs> Mission 8, everyone. Yeah. Rather boring for a mission. Rather easy for a mission. <sighs> well, Mission 9 will start our backtracking palooza. Where is the backtracking palooza? Caution. We get 12 minutes to escape an uh, exploding facility. We need plenty of that. Or, no, we need a fraction of that to actually escape. Even if you don't know where you're going. I mean, I wasted, oh, a good majority of that 12 minutes trying to escape the first time I played this and I still had plenty left over still had like three or four minutes left over that's because I spent a good five of that running around in circles Infinitely spawn. So I'll get rid of this one. Warning. And this will be done. Yeah, I'll build up some DTJ. My build up some double trigger. And Volvemus. First, we wander down here. Large orb. Warning. And I wanna go through this door. Is this the latest to the room that we got vendetta from? We go through this door. Caution. Here. Back. 
red orbs. Caution. DT did Or double trigger to get back up. In this room, we have to hit three switches to open that door. Not that hard, actually. Specific order. There's no specific order we have to hit these things in, we just have to hit all three of them. We don't just use anything. We'll use an airplane. Giant airplane. Warning. But before we leave. Somewhere in here. How did you get it? We get the missile launcher. Warning. Yeah, it fires rather slowly. I it fires rather slowly and that's powerful, but not all that useful. So. mission. So, I think we're, we're, yeah, we're good for today. Well, hope everyone enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want with it. And I hope to see you guys again, <laughs> I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.